Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Math Tube. So these lessons are specially prepared for the second year engineering students who are studying applied mathematics in two colleges. So this is lesson number nine. And now we are going to discuss something very important that is called Cauchy's Integral Theorem. In the last video, we learned complex integration but to make the integration easier we have a few theorems and the first one is Cauchy's integral theorem and as always the four important points to make the video lessons effective so one two three and four so please read them and put them into practice especially point number two so so let's start with lesson number nine. Okay, first the statement. Make sure you're very good with the statement. So we have an analytic function. We learned what's an analytic function, the definitions in lesson number two. So we have an analytic function, f of z. And there's a connected region, r. And it said this function integrated in a closed contour will be equal to zero and this c should be completely inside r that means if you have a closed contour and if a function is analytic in it then the integral value will be zero that means if you integrate any analytic function by adding all the points in the region you're going to get zero we can prove this very easily with the help of green's theorem i hope you remember green's theorem from your vector integration if not i'll give you the statement okay anyway let's start and i wanted to read the statement once more so let's start with this integral and long back itself i told you z will be equal to x plus i y and f of z will be equal to u plus i v so i'm going to replace f z with u plus i v and d z will be the differential that is dx plus i dy so let's substitute so f z is nothing but u plus i v and d z is dx plus i dy now apply distributive property and you can simplify and keep in mind i square is minus one the real part and the imaginary part separately and split the integral so i kept u dx minus v dy inside the first integral and i times u dy plus v dx in the second integral okay now i'm planning to put a plus in between because i'm going to apply the version of green's theorem with plus in between so what i did is i put plus and I'm compensating it with minus V so that's it now let's join them so I just took this and this is a simplified version I put it here okay now now look at this the next step is very important Green's theorem actually connects a line integral with the surface integral and the format of the line integral should be P DX plus q dy and this will be equal to according to green's theorem and let's say this is the curve in which this integral is defined and this is the region so the outs the boundary part is c and the total region is r and the formula will be partial derivative of q with respect to x minus partial derivative of p with respect to let's apply green's theorem for the first one so here we go partial with respect to x and here we have partial with respect to y and let's apply the same thing for the second integral 
and that will be partial of u this is u it doesn't look like u but please read that as u and the second one with respect to y now let's write in the usual notations that is vx ui ux and vy okay now i wanted to read the theorem once more if you read the theorem properly in one more step we will be able to prove this i'll repeat if you read the theorem properly in one more step we will be able to prove this so look at this it's given the function is analytic and we have to prove the integral is equal to zero so look at this we have the integral and the integral looks like this and now we are going to apply the condition so tell me when will a function become analytic yeah the cr equations must be satisfied so this is what we proved just now now i'll write the condition ux is equal to vy wow good news and ui equal to minus vx so look at this this minus vx over here can be replaced with ui and this vy over here can be replaced with ux or vice versa and that's it so integral of 0 plus i into integral of 0 so that's it so we end up with 0 so that's the end of Cauchy's theorem so as always if you find the video useful like share and subscribe and I'll be back with the next proof that is the proof of Cauchy's integral formula so if you have any doubts regarding this topic please feel to ask in the comment box below so i'll be back so till then bye